everybody, welcome to the Confined Kitchen. Ian Tyson here. We're doing a little bit of a brunch today. First of all, went with the uh, May the Forks Be With You apron. Shout out to CSLC, Canadian Student Leadership Conference 2019 in Abbotsford, their foods team. They had one of these on and I was there doing presentation and begged and pleaded and they gave me one and I love this apron. So it's coming up on uh, May 4th, Star Wars Day. So you, you gotta be ready. So we're doing a bit of a brunch today, but if you know my Instagram or my Facebook well, you know I'm a big fan of brunch and breakfast food and I'm posting stuff like that all the time. The way I tend to cook eggs more often than not is to poach them. So I want to talk about the poaching method. So we're going to do a brunch with some poached eggs. So this should be pretty quick. So what I want to do is get the potatoes going first and then the bacon and then I want to talk to you about the poach egg method because this, my friends, has been a journey for me uh, in terms of looking at all the different methodologies for doing this and finding one that works. And there's, I think, a kind of a cool lesson in this as well. First of all, first tip so that you know what's going on for the, uh, the poaching is I do this in sort of a meal pan, a large pan. This is the one here. One of these. And I've got maybe inch and a half, maybe inch and three quarters of water in there. And I'm just bringing that to a, a slow light boil. So it's at about medium high three quarter temperature in there. So first of all, we're gonna fire up this little uh, pan here for some, some hash browns. Already cooked, they're just chopped up potatoes, parboiled them so they got soft but not mushy. And they've just been sitting off to the side. We're gonna throw those in. We're going to put this on about two-thirds maybe heat for this pan. Then we're going to do some bacon in. With the bacon, which is already sliced, I love me a peppered bacon. So we're just going to pepper that, a little fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to put those straight into the pan. And then when those, once those are in the pan, I'm just going to give them a little more fresh ground pepper. Just a little bacon, some pepper. We're going to let that slowly cook. This pan's getting up to heat. Uh, we're gonna add a little olive oil. And then again, cut, parboiled, and salted. Putting those right in there. Toss them around a little in that oil. A little fresh ground pepper. Another pinch of that kosher salt. And I may add some more spices to that after the fact. Just gonna put these in like that and get them cooking. Just gonna kind of create sort of a layered, almost a, almost a hash situation uh, for this. Uh, that, while we're doing that, while those are going, I'm gonna just cut up a little pepper I had left. So I've got a little red pepper. I'm gonna add that to the uh, spinach that I've already chopped. This is gonna reduce down to next to nothing. I'll have the bacon set aside. Just kind of layer this whole thing up. I'm just gonna flip that bacon. We'll use this same pan for the peppers and spinach. Maybe, maybe leave a little bit of that bacon fat in there just to kind of get things going. It's Saturday brunch, come on. It's gonna be good stuff. Poached eggs. Full disclosure, up until two years ago, uh, one, I love poached eggs. I use them all the time. Absolutely love me some poached eggs. Um, two, up until two years ago, I was using one of these, uh, these poaching pans. Well, hang on. Thought I still had it, don't. Clearly got rid of it because I don't need it anymore. But one of these things that had like four little half circles, you just crack the egg in there in a pan with water in it. It's kind of a cheat. It's not really poaching in the traditional sense, but that's what I use. But I love poached eggs and I always love when I go into a restaurant and they have really nice, beautiful poached eggs. But as those of you who cook know, the challenge when it comes to poaching the egg is there's all the wispy bits and how you get rid of those. And uh, so I went through literally about a year and a half of trial and error, reading all kinds of stuff online, trying to find a good methodology when it came to making these poached eggs. So I tried the cyclonic method, doing a pot, a little bit of salt, a little bit of vinegar in there. You stir the pot up, you make a bit of a cyclone, you, and then you, you crack them in there. It was good some of the time, but sometimes the entire white would separate from the yolk not great it was inconsistent with the results there was things about the different balance with the amount of vinegar or the amount of salt that you put in there 
I did a version where I was straining the egg just to get the most wispy stuff out in these. I bought these at the dollar store specifically for that method. Used it for a while, seemed okay. But again, sometimes it was inconsistent. The, the wispy bits would still be on there or the white would separate completely from the egg. So what I would say to you, especially during this time that we're all in, what I would say to you is that sometimes, as with this situation, this time that we're all living through, the easiest solution can be the one. We, we overthink, we, over, we overdo it. I honestly was going through so much minutia with all these different things and all these little details and trying to just perfect and make this method right. And it was never perfect. But it turns out the easiest one, I read an article on a food website that tested like six different poaching methods, I think, and what they felt was the best. So I tried the one they felt the best and I'll be damned, it's the easiest thing in the whole wide world. So honestly, what we're dealing with here is I, I use this pan. I find it good because I tend to be making maybe four eggs or something if, you know, the trusty sidekicks here and I'm making brunch for two. I tend to be a two egg guy. I'm doing this in here for demo purposes, but it gives you a good amount of space. You want a good, you know, inch and a half, two inches of water so that when the egg sinks to the bottom, there's going to be water over top. You don't want to get it down so the top of the yolk is maybe poking out of the water or something. No salt, no vinegar, no nothing. Three quarter heat, we're bringing it to just a light boil, a tremble, one might say. Just bringing it to a bit of a tremble, and then you're just gonna crack the egg directly in there, no stirring, no cyclone, no nothing. And then with a slotted spoon, we take it out, and then I always keep a spoon on hand that you just cut those extra wispy bits. It makes a bit of a mess in the water, but when you get it out, perfectly poached eggs. This bacon's pretty much where I want it to be. So we're going to take that off and set it aside. And we got just a little bit of bacon fat there. So because, you know, well, it's Saturday and we're striving for awesomeness, I'm going straight in with those peppers, right into the bacon fat. I'm going to give it a little bit of black pepper. We're going to get those cooking down. Now here's the one thing I will say, full disclosure, when it comes to this poaching method. I have no idea how long this actually takes, so we're going to have to maybe time it on here. I'll leave it in real time. I won't do any cuts unless something horrible happens. Um, but what I tend to do is get everything else ready, everything else set to go, and then crack the eggs, start to plate, and usually by the time I'm ready to plate, the eggs are ready to go. It's a bit of an eyeballing it and seeing if they're cooked through. And Yeah, I like about a medium poach. I like a nice bit of yolk. So obviously you're gonna go a little bit longer for what, depending on your uh, preferences are. See, those are looking nice there. Just give these just a little bit of granulated garlic. A little shake of that. And then some Tex-Mex spice. And as you can see, those are looking nice and golden brown, just about ready to go. And these peppers are just cooking nicely in that bacon fat. Ooh, almost forgot. One of my favorite ingredients that, again, if you've ever followed along with anything that I post, I absolutely love, is we need an avocado. So for those of you who have maybe watched a couple of the other episodes uh, here of Confined Kitchen, uh, my avocado method, just right down, move that knife around, right in half, turn, Side with the pit, I'm going to keep for later. So that'll get wrapped up just with a, a saran and put right into the fridge. Then, being very careful with the knife and with your hand, you're just going to lightly push through till you feel the pressure, but not push all the way through the skin. Nicely cut up there. So that's going to be ready to go for when we need to plate. So now we're going to add the spinach to the peppers. And this is just going to reduce down real quick and nicely to a perfect amount of spinach for us. So as you can see, that uh, big bowl of spinach has reduced down to next to nothing. Potatoes are looking good. We want them nice and golden brown around the edges. Don't want to burn them. So this is what I mean by just getting us to a tremble. So this is what it comes down to now. Potatoes are ready. Spinach is ready, bacon's ready, avocado's ready, so I'm going to put the eggs in and then we're going to plate and we'll be good to go. So again, maybe if you've seen episodes before or you haven't, way, way to crack an egg, at least with the method I use. Not on the edge of the pan, 
on the hard flat surface. So I'm just using the surface of the stove. A couple of cracks, get that crack going, and then you're gonna hold it maybe this far above the water, open it up and just drop it in. And then again, keep an eye on the time. We're gonna do this in real time. Little crack there. Straight into the water. And again, crack. Don't fear it. And straight into the water. Just right into the water like that with the eggs. So now in the meantime, while that's going, clock's running, we're going to get this plated. So we'll turn the heat off. We'll take these uh, potatoes, get our plate ready. Put a little bit of those potatoes down, don't need all of it, that's fine. Then we'll do the spinach. I'm just going to go right on top, we're going to kind of stack it up. Alright, that's good. Now we've got the bacon already cooked. Again, this is just two pieces of bacon cut in half, four pieces nicely peppered. And where'd my avocado go? And the spoon. Keep an eye on that time. We'll do maybe half, like a quarter of the avocado, so half of this half. So again, what we're going to want to do here is just get right in under the skin, just under with the edge of that spoon, and get in underneath, trace it along till just about the middle, and then just pull out so you avoid that seed or the little clip at the top. We're going to go there, and I'm just going to fan them out right in front. I would sometimes put those on top if the eggs tend to slide off, but we don't want that to happen. So one second. So, everything else is ready. Ooh, another thing, these just need another second, so. For those of you who've watched before, we're gonna utilize our uh, jalapeno peppers and red onions for this. So, I think we're ready to go. We're gonna get the slotted spoon, and we're gonna get these out. Those are looking good right where we want them to be. So, slotted spoon. Just get underneath there. You've got the egg like this. We're going to take this spoon and we're just going to trim that extra wisp wispy stuff, which nobody wants, off the edges so you get a poached egg just like that. Give it a light shake, get that extra bits of water off there. Nicely slide it right on top. Underneath the next one, I'm telling you this method, after all the trial and error, I have done the work for you here. I'm telling you this is the best way. No salt, no vinegar, no cyclones, no nothing. Again, nice little poached egg. Utilizing that foundation from a couple of cooks ago, we're going to get these uh, pickled things out. And then what I like to do, get in there, see, nicely done. Very lightly with the knife is just cut that yolk open so it starts to spill over its nice presentation wise and also gets that yolk almost like a sauce on top of things so just a nice light cut got my chipotle hot sauce and ladies and gentlemen that's what i call brunch with my poached egg method i hope it helps i hope it works for you i'm going to go enjoy this but i made this for you thank you so much we'll see you next time